Yo everybody, welcome to another tutorial. Guys, so I've actually been asked a lot um, by some people, okay, like two, three people, <laughs> but still, you know, I am always out there to help you guys, and the question is, how the heck do you get mods on Minecraft? Well, it, there's a lot of complicated ways, and there's a lot of easy ways. I'm gonna show you guys the way I do it, the way I find it most simple. I'm sure there's a hundred other ways to do it, but this is the way that I find is the easiest to, uh, the easiest way to do it. So I'm gonna take you through step by step, not skipping over anything. I'm even gonna download everything over again or, or different things. And um, yeah, let's get right into it, okay? All right, so first things first, you guys have to realize that not every mod is gonna work together. So there are certain mods that don't work with other mods. So when you're choosing your mod list, the mods that you wanna use, make sure they're all compatible. I Honestly, I can't go through every mod and tell you, oh, these are the ones that work together, these are the ones that don't. So, those are just, uh, that's just really quick, I just want to let you guys know that. So, uh, the first thing you want to do, obviously, is choose the mods that you want. So, conveniently enough, I have here uh, Pam's Harvest Craft, which I actually already downloaded. You can use it on either 1.9.4 all the way up to 1.10.2. So, this is a mod that you can use on 1.10, which is awesome. Where did I get this mod? All I did um, was I went to Google and I just searched up Pam's Harvest or whatever. So you want to search up your your mod that you want and, and just go to it, right? And it'll and then you can download it, whatever. This is not about the mods. This is about how to be able to play mods. So this is the mod that I'm going to use as an example, okay? So I already downloaded it. Now your mods will obviously be different, whatever mod you want. So download those first. Then the next thing you want to do is you're gonna go back to Google and I have it saved here I'm gonna leave a link down in the description but the place is called so if we go to bookmarks over here it is called Minecraft Forge so you go here I'm gonna leave this link down in the description right so it should take you to a page that looks exactly like this so once you choose the mods that you want so that Pam's Harvest Craft because you can use it within 1.9.4 all the way to 1.10.2 you can download uh, all the way from right here so you can 1.9.4 all the way up to 1.10.2 so you choose the version you want to download it for if your mods only run on 1.7.10 you're going to want to go here and download download 1.7.10 obviously so you have to download the ones that are corresponding to your the mods that you're trying to play okay so because we have that uh pam's harvest craft which is 1.10.2 which we can do all, all the way up to there uh, I actually already downloaded that. I already downloaded this one. So we're going to go ahead and download one that I haven't downloaded just to show you guys. I want to show you guys every step. So you're just going to click on one of these. Let's go to, um, let's just do a 1.6, whatever. So you're going to click on that. It's going to take you over here. It's kind of the same page, whatever. So you're going to go download latest, uh, download. I just do the download recommended and you're going to go here to installer on Windows. So you're going to install Windows. Over here, you'll see that it'll start installing. You don't want to click on anything right here, okay? This is like one of those things where, like, you have to click over here to skip the ad, right? So you're going to skip the ad, and then it'll download Forge right here. So you're downloading that one. I just clicked on it, 1.6.4, right? So now if we go to show all over here, we have this. All you're going to want to do is double click on this. Uh, so once you do yes, it should bring up this thing right here. So let's close out that so you can see this a little better. So it's going to bring up, ooh, did it do two of them? Oops. So let's close out one. So uh, right here, when it brings up this little thing, it says Minecraft Forge. Welcome to the Simple Forge installer. When you do that, you're going to want to go to install client. So make sure you click on that one and click OK. And then it'll install. So I'll be right back when this is finished installing, OK? All right, so it just disappeared. It finished installing. So now, now that you've installed that into Minecraft, obviously you're going to want to have a Minecraft thing. You should obviously have this first, right? So now you can go over here to Minecraft. Let's open it up. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going through every step. This is how I found the easiest way to do it. So, so right here. Now you're going to want to go to edit your profile and then click on use version you're gonna click find, and then find the one you just downloaded so right now for me I downloaded I just downloaded this 1.6.4 I'm probably never gonna use it right so uh, that, that it'll show up here on your on your uh, on your version list right here so one, once you have that it should say forge and whatever so whatever version you picked 1.6.4 and then forge click on that 
and it'll switch and then you hit save and it'll switch it down here to that version so because I already did it earlier with 1.10.2 we're gonna go back to we're gonna cancel this uh, yeah cancel so we have 1.10.2 already set up to go so right now if we hit play your Minecraft should look something like this. Let's go ahead and watch it. It is all real time, guys. I'm not going to cut anything out right here. Uh, come on, you freak. <laughs> Maybe I will cut cut this out. Okay, when Minecraft starts, I'll be right back. Oh, there we go. Okay, never mind. Just kidding. Okay, so now, click on Minecraft. It'll do this thing. So instead of like the regular splash screen like this, it'll do all this loading of mod stuff, right? Even though there are no mods on the thing yet. So it still has to go through this to load up everything so you're gonna just want do you want to do this just to make sure everything works once with before you even add the mod in okay so let's wait for this to go really quick it should it should be done in like the next two couple seconds here one two three four five six hurry to freak <laughs> oh my gosh okay so there we go so it's all it's done uh let's go to the uh title screen come on mojang you're t okay there we go so now we're here so now we we obviously right here it says minecraft 1.10.2 i downloaded the 1.6 but that's not the one i'm running because this this mod that i chose only runs between 1.9.4 and 1.10.2 so this is what it would look like which whatever version you chose to download right Okay, so now I'm gonna close out of Minecraft. Okay, so now that you've closed off Minecraft, you've seen that it does the forge thing. Uh, you're gonna want to go over here to your little folder. This is now this is Windows 8, guys. So I mean, the whichever way you go to your Minecraft folders, uh, you want to do that. So I go here. I go percent app data percent. I don't know how you do it on like um, on Microsoft 10 or all Windows 10 or whatever. This is just the way I do it uh, with the little folder here. So it, depending on however you get into your files, you're going to go up percent, add data percent, uh, enter, and it'll bring up your Minecraft stuff right here. Okay. So it, it might not be the first thing you come up to, guys. So remember that. So you, you might just have to look for Minecraft. So dot Minecraft, you're going to open that. And now that you have that mods thing or the forge set up, you'll have a folder that actually says mods. And right now, uh, oh, so the only thing I have right there is Optifine, which is Optifine is not really anything, you know, it's not, it is a mod, but it just helps you run Minecraft smoother. So, so now, now that I have 1.10 running, right, and I got the Forge 1.10, you, you're good. This mods folder is not going to be on there right away, guys. So it'll only be on there after you've gone through the first process of installing that Forge thing from the beginning that I showed you. Okay. So now that this mods folder is there, you're going to want to open it up. And now you're going to take your mod that you downloaded or mods, as long as they're all in the same, they can all work with the same uh, version of Minecraft. You're going to add it in there and then you can close it and that's it. And now we go back to Minecraft. I'll be right back when, when I get to the regular title screen guys, because we know that it took like freaking seven seconds and we can't wait that long. Okay guys, we're back here at the Minecraft title screen, right? So we, let's actually make this just a tad bigger for you. So you guys can see, there we go. Now, okay, again, we got Minecraft 1.10.2, Forge is activated, you got a mods folder. Now, if we take a look at mods, you should see Pam's Harvest there. There we go, perfect. So done. Now, if we go to single player, I'm gonna load up a new world. I'm sure you guys all know how to do this already. So uh, if, if you think, whatever, let me just load up a new world, okay? So this new world, we will call it uh, New World Pam's Harvest because that's what I have on here so far. So we'll go survival. Let's actually go to creative just so we can get see the mods right away and create new world. And so yeah, I'll be right back once the new world is done creating. <laughs> okay guys, so we're now in the new world uh, and maybe a little laggy because we, you know, we just started a new, a new world. Oh look, piggies, hi. <laughs> Yes, this is my texture pack. You guys all know this. So let's go around and... Oh, look. Yep. I already see it. So if we take a look over here, these... This is what Pam's Harvest adds. So if we open that... Oh, wait. Oh, we're in creative. Hold on. Slash game mode zero. Okay. So now that we're in survival, we can... There. See, there we go. And we got all of the things from Pam's Harvest Craft. Not all of them, but you know, if you know about Pam's Harvest, you know you get a whole bunch of different stuff to make your food situation a lot easier. I love Pam's Harvest, guys. It is one of my favorite mods. 
But uh, yeah, so now you can see the mod works. So depending on how many mods you loaded, you'll have all of those uh, all ready to go. And, and that, guys, is how you add mods to Minecraft. That is the way I do it. I found that to be the most simple way to do it. If you guys, if you, if you rewind this video and follow along exactly how I do it, you know, I didn't skip any steps. Um, then you should be able to have Minecraft run mods. Now, also, guys, depending on your computer, their mods may not be able to work as well. Like, uh, if you if if you have a really not a great computer, and then you add like a thousand mods in there, obviously it's going to be very laggy, and it might not even run. So. Just try it out with a few mods first to get the hang of it, and then you can make your list about what mods you want to actually have in your Let's Play or in your Minecraft world. This one is just Pam's Harvest, so it's pretty easy to just go and see how everything is. As you can see, we got freaking tomatoes, scallions, tea leaf, Pam's Harvest freaking awesome if you guys have any other questions please leave them in the comment section down below if you need extra help i will be glad to help you guys just again leave me a comment and um yeah i will i will get back to you as soon as i can maybe not right away but as soon as i can i will get back to you guys uh to help you guys out with any questions you might have so uh yeah, guys, if this helped you out in any way, go ahead and punch that like button to send me a punch first stream your first day of Minecraft. And that'll do it for today's Minecraft mod tutorials. <laughs> I think I might start doing this. This is kind of fun. Would you guys like to see like mod spotlights or showcases? I don't I don't know. A lot of people do those, but I think they may be kind of fun. I think they may be kind of fun. Alright, guys, I will catch you on the bright side. Woo! <laughs> hey guys, I'll see ya!